let's get to causes. And please, ARDS, it's a syndrome. That's important. So it's a syndrome. That's why there are many, 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 many causes. Okay? And I'm going to divide them now. So what would be the causes? And I guess the best way to divide it is it has many names or, or terms, and, uh, and, but I would divide it into two groups, okay? And again, you can use many terms, and I, I guess it's pretty straightforward, but I would name it like causes, and I would first name like primary, or we could think of the alveolar side causes. Okay, so over here, I mean that there is something happening and it starts in the lungs. So either infection or trauma or whatever. So it's primary and rather you should imagine that the problem is in the, like starts within the elbows, let's say. And then you have a secondary or we could say indirect or whatever. And the secondary causes... or indirect, or we could say, you should imagine the endothelium. So something from the body comes and impacts the endothelia, the lung endothelia, and starts the process again, okay? So it's from the other side. But let's say you have a disease somewhere else. Typically, again, I'm gonna mention it now because I'm gonna repeat it again, sepsis. You're gonna have sepsis, so you are having bacteremia from whatever the cause it is. And this will then turn your lungs into ARDS. Okay. And remember, sepsis is the most common cause of ARDS. Remember that. Sepsis is the most common cause. Okay. But we'll come back to it very soon. So secondary causes. Okay. So and what are the primary or direct? We could call it also direct causes. So there is a direct impact to the lungs. So what do you think? Well, of course, aspiration, remember. Aspiration and typically of your fluids, for example. So if you aspirate the HCL, so aspiration, it's really not a good idea to drink and then aspirate everything which happens when you're drunk, so watch out. So there's acid and everything, and this really can start ARDS very easily. So aspiration. What else? Contusion, pulmonary contusion. So basically, trauma directly to your lungs, like, you know, car accident and the steering wheel in your chest. This can cause a serious contusion and then leads to ARDS. Of course, pneumonia. As I told you, so any infection can turn into this. And guess what? Pneumonia typically is local. That's very typical. So if, if it's a bacterial pneumonia like strep or other bacteria like typical ones, that's rather local, but it can turn diffuse and you can have ARDS very easily. It happens. But there's one thing now which loves to do ARDS right away and it's diffuse and it takes both lungs right away. And guess what it is? It's a virus. It's COVID. So COVID like really loves to do ARDS right away. Okay. So remember pneumonia, but of course, bacteria. But remember viral and remember COVID over here. Okay. It does ARDS right away. Okay. And then like... Of course, for example, if you inhale hot air, okay, so if you're a firefighter and you go without your tools to the fire and you inhale the hot air, this turns ARDS similar. So, so burns or hot air, very dangerous. And of course, water, salty or not. So if someone is drowning, okay, 
So they will save him. They like they save him. He wakes up fine, but later in the day or next day, he, ARDS starts. So still, you have to take care of the patient, and really expect that the ARDS will come. So this would be the direct damage, obviously. And what is the indirect? Well, of course, it's sepsis. And I don't know if you uh, thought about it, but look at that. I'm having a some kind of a focal infection, fine, wherever. Like it could be, you know, I don't know. Uh, it could be urinary tract infection or whatever. And suddenly there are too many bacteria in the blood. So I'm having sepsis in a way. So now the, the inflammation is dysregulated and delocated. So there are bacteria in my blood. And not only bacteria, but so many cytokines and whatever that plays the game with them. So, so immune system is boosted up. There are bacteria present. And of course, if you take the hemocles, you will find the bacteria over there. Okay, that's how you can say it's sepsis. Okay. But if you ever imagine what's the difference between, for example, heart or kidneys compared to lungs, it's the massiveness, it's the massive dose that the lungs get because, you know what? All the blood has to go through lungs, not through kidneys, not, well, through heart as well, that was, well but of course not through coronaries, okay? But all the blood that you have has to go through lungs. And if you would imagine that tiny alveolocapillary membrane that, that is impacted, like right away, lungs are getting the full dose of everything all the time. Everything that appears in the blood gets right into the lungs, okay? So this is very typical, and that's why sepsis is the most common cause of ARDS, okay? And of course, the other ones, yeah, don't forget any type of shock can turn on ARDS. So shock in general, okay, you will see ARDS over there. Robochal, one organ, acute pancreatitis. Typically, also, if someone has acute pancreatitis, this triggers ARDS, okay? And one of the theories is, and this is very logical, what happens in acute pancreatitis? Well, it, the pancreas is inflamed, and I'm having what? I'm having like endocrine. I take it as an endocrine organ, so insulin and everything is produced over there, fine. That could have a problem. But not only that, it's an exocrine organ. So, so many like really serious enzymes are produced there that you use to digest everything. And suddenly, if there is an inflammation, these enzymes are released into the bloodstream. So again, the lungs will get a massive hit. I can tell you one enzyme that we're talking about a lot from that. It's the phospholipase A2. That we talk about a lot over here as one of the triggers of the ARDS in the lungs, okay? That comes from pancreas, okay? So acute pancreatitis. And now this is a goal for you because Radek Mati likes to ask on fat embolism and especially amniotic fluid, okay? So please remember amniotic fluid embolism during birth, like a serious complication. Guess what, what it triggers? ARDS. So amniotic fluid, also remember fat embolism. So, and when this happens? Well, if you fight with someone, you know, if they kick you into, if you're fat a bit, they kick you there many times, whatever, or if you go to some procedures getting rid of fat, it's a risk. So this can trigger, because fat gets into the bloodstream, again, you can have an ARDS, okay? Yeah. So remember, fat emboli, amniotic fluid emboli, okay, and basically uh, any kind of trauma, serious trauma can cause a, can cause a ARDS. And remember also blood transfusions. This sometimes happen. It's called, it's called trally. Or trally, trally. If you heard about it, it's the transfusion related acute lung injury. Okay, so transfusion. 
related acute lung injury okay yeah so when of course yeah if anything that happens to to the blood like dic again like with dic yeah you can have also ards okay so there are many many causes remember the fat embolism amniotic fluid embolism acute pancreatitis sepsis first of all okay and not only bacteria or whatever imagine cytokines that there is a cytokine storm in your blood and this triggers the endothelia of the lungs to behave weirdly dysregulated and cause the edema so we'll make a small pause here before we get to pathophysiology mechanisms okay so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell and as always check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials